Hey everyone, this is Chase at Rocky Mountain HVMC, and this is my ride review of the air neck brace coming from Atlas. All right, everyone, so today I just wanna give you a quick ride review of this air neck brace coming from Atlas. Now, I know in the world of neck braces, we carry a lot of different options at Rocky Mountain. If you wanna learn all the specs, you know, everything about this neck brace, you can watch our product spotlight. But in the world of neck braces, I feel like there's a lot of either riders really like them and they believe in them, or they think they're not good and riders shouldn't wear them at all. But, you know, honestly, you gotta really think about the point of a neck brace is to absorb the impact or the energy coming from the rider's head or neck and disperse it more across the body. So. I say if you believe in that, if you think it's gonna help you, then wear a neck brace. If you're one of those riders that doesn't think that they're gonna do you any good or might cause you more harm, then yeah, you don't have to wear one. But I think with a lot of riders, they like the idea of wearing a neck brace, but yeah, they're a big investment, they cost a lot of money, and a lot of riders are more afraid of, is it gonna limit their range of motion and their ability to ride like they are currently right now? And so I wanna try a few out. And to give you a little background history on this, I had a pretty good crash at Glen Helen not too long ago and I injured my neck. My neck was pretty dang sore for a while and I had that question lingering in the back of my mind. What if I was wearing a neck brace? Would my neck have been injured or would it be as bad as it is? So I said, you know what, I'm gonna try a few out. So I've been riding out in this Atlas Air for a while and I can tell you that overall, once you have it on, it doesn't limit my range of motion. I can see everything that I saw before on the track. It, you know, the only time that I ever even notice that I'm wearing the neck brace is honestly when I'm off the bike just walking around. Because in the riding position, you have all that, that, that space between your neck brace and your helmet where I don't even notice it, to be honest with you. They're nice and low profile now, so they sit close to the rider's body. It doesn't interfere with me whatsoever. The only thing that I notice when I'm riding sometimes is the back of the neck brace will come up and hit me in the back of the helmet. So that's happened a couple of times, but it's, to me, it's not a big deal. I, after a while, I forget that's even happening. But overall, super low profile. And yeah, it's a comfort thing. After riding with it for a while, now if I don't wear it, I almost feel like I'm missing something. I'm missing a piece of safety gear. So if you are thinking of investing in a neck brace, I can tell you right now, the air is low profile. It's super comfortable. Make sure when you do get it, it does have some adjustability. It's really important with these that you wanna make sure that you have it fit correctly. That's gonna give you the best performance possible. You know, honestly, my only gripes with the neck brace is one, you just gotta be careful what roost deflector you're wearing. So you wanna make sure that your roost deflector is gonna be neck brace compatible to make sure you get good fitment. So for me, I just have an EVS under the jersey roost deflector, super low profile. So I didn't have any issues, but I could see it being an issue there. And also with the strap system, it works well. Um, you wanna make sure, I know there are some riders who wear the neck brace without their strap system that comes included. I didn't like that at all. I felt like it was just too loose, it floated around. So with the strap system, you can wear it underneath or over top the jersey. It's just kind of a hassle sometimes to take those straps and hook them onto these little hooks on the side here. So honestly, I just have somebody else do it for me. That's the easiest way I found to do it. But overall, those are the only things negative that I could even say about the brace. As far as fitment goes, super comfortable. Like I said, low profile. And I have not had any times where it's limited my range of motion. And actually, one thing that I've liked about, really liked about it, is we're always talking about working on your form and making sure when you come into corners that your head is up and you have your ear tucked in your shoulder. What I've actually noticed that I enjoy about the brace is that when I lean my head over and I have my ear tucked to my shoulder, when a helmet contacts the neck brace, that is an indicator for me that I'm in the correct riding position. So I've actually used it to my advantage in that sense. So I would just say, if you guys are interested in a neck brace, more specifically the air neck brace from Atlas, super comfortable, low profile. If you're worried about range of motion, I don't think you need to be concerned with that. I've worn this with four different helmets. I've worn it with the Fox V3, the Trulia Designs SE4, Bell Moto 9 Carbon Flex, and the 60 ATR2. And all those helmets haven't had any issues with any of those as far as range of motion goes. So if you guys have any questions, if you want some more feedback from me, leave your questions or comments below. We'll get those answered. And to pick one up, it's real simple. Just click on the link at the end of this video. Remember, we have a spotlight where I talk about it in full detail. We even have a buyer's guide where I put all the neck braces that we carry at Rocky Mountain. We go through and we talk about all the individual unique features of each neck brace. So if you're not sure which neck brace you want, watch the video. It's really going to help you out. But that's it. Remember, guys, ship over free or ship for free over 75 bucks. If you like this little ride review, make sure to get subscribed to our YouTube channel, and that's going to keep you up to date. I'm Chase, we'll see you on the trails.